Happy Vlogtober 22. It is the day I'm doing the giveaway drawing for the fun little fall giveaway that was two weeks back that I posted that video. So I will attach the winner at the end or the winners, I should say. Um, just contact me, email, message me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Um, anyways, so yeah, I've been making more of those cute little cats. Let me show you. The pattern is from False Bubbles here on YouTube. I will link it down below. Uh, the YouTube tutorial or she has the written one in her description. This is the one that I showed you guys yesterday with a 6.5 and this is a 6 millimeter hook. It is a little bit smaller. This is brunette velvet. So is this. I don't have the colors for you though. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. I threw away the ball bands a while ago, but there is a, a size difference. I mean, it's not too bad, but really cute. I put the um, Chanel stem in this one too, so that you can pose the the uh, the tail. Oh, they're just so cute. I've also got these two. I have not had a chance to make their tails yet, so they don't have any tails. Uh, but these are both. This one's brunette velvet some color I don't know this is Chanel from the Dollar Tree it's a, a really true yellow it's the premier just Chanel and it didn't quite use a skein I thought because I, I had two of these and I thought oh it's gonna need, at least use one whole one but it didn't um, I haven't even broken into this one yet and I still have some left over well I have to make the tail the yellow color is a is a brighter than the Bernat velvet yellow this one's more of a, it's, I would not say mustard in person, but it kind of looks like it on camera. And um, both, both of these are a six millimeter hook. The Chanel, the Premier from the Dollar Tree is a little bit thinner, so it's just a tiny bit smaller of a kitty cat. And I'll be making the tail tonight, for sure. Got another one going, you guys. <laughs> this one which I'm right at the part where it's it's time to decrease and then stuff it's not stuffed at all this is again like this is how my brunette yarn looks it's all like this uh I don't know what color this is I'm guessing it's charcoal because this is like a charcoal gray um super cute one of these I put three whiskers on the brown one I put three whiskers compared with the two whiskers I guess four whiskers and six whiskers technically uh, the faces are super cute I haven't really done any like smileys or eyelashes or anything like that I will I probably definitely will probably make them look Christmassy somehow I don't know I'm in love with this pattern you guys go check out false bubbles here on YouTube it's just it's amazing so I'm gonna finish the charcoal gray one have a couple tails to make and I'm gonna show you guys the beta. I have the body done. You would call it a body, I guess, for a fish. <laughs> it looks like a giant pill, but, and it's white, so you can't really see the shape a lot. It's blowing out. And there's a stitch marker up here. This is, this is how big the um, beta body is. I have been working on the fins, trying to get those shaped right. This is a shimmery light bluish color with uh, a shimmery baby yarn. There's two shimmery baby yarns. One of the baby yarns is a variegated. It's got some pinks in there and some purples and things. It's hard to see on camera. And then this one's just a white with a shimmery, the shimmery shim. <laughs> I know it's sparkly. So this is three strands together. Let's see if I can do this. So. <laughs> like and that's not even I think actually this is one of this is one of the fins that go down here yeah this is one of the fins that go down here and then there's like the whoo fin here and then the beautiful tail fin I don't think I'm gonna get these to stand up I've been trying to get the yarns for you know like the back fins to stand up and they just won't so uh, the Chanel st stems that I put in the cat's tails so that you can bend. I tried and it just, it doesn't really work with the yarn. Then it makes it heavier and I don't know. So there's, it's just gonna have floppy fins. 
hope that's gonna be okay <laughs> but like when it's laying on a bed or or on a couch or whatever you just put the fins like well this is the bottom fin you know just like lay it there I mean so it looks like it's swimming <laughs> this is a honker oh it's it's firm and I don't remember the <laughs> it's white yarn obviously but I don't remember the, the yarn I'm sorry if I if I remember I'll let you guys know but anyways so I'm working on cats and fish now I'm done with the mice and it's cats and fish <laughs> so and then it's gonna be dinosaurs and probably more cats I don't know. I just, I got my amigurumi groove back. My, I've been bitten by the amigurumi bug and that's all I want to make now. I do have that scrap blanket that I worked on a couple days ago, just mindlessly. And it's getting really big and heavy. So I have to like make it on the couch. It's really hard to, to make sitting at my desk. Oh, I do have one more thing to show you. So I've been mentioning that I've been trying to do, <laughs> trying to do some cleaning. I did do some cleaning and some organizing. And I had this, this one bag a while ago with projects in it and I finished one of those projects. This was supposed to be a cat. This was my own pattern. I think I just did a round of four and then magic ring of, of six and just built it up. And I was going to do some triangles to make it into a cat. It's gonna do a face. It's got some safety guys in there. Um, it's just, a single crocheted rectangle and then I folded the rectangle in half to make the square. I sewed on the arms and legs while it was still open and then I sewed it shut and stuffed it and we've got a square. This is probably gonna go to Amber next year for the make along for the kids at school. It's just, I mean, I could always put a face on there or something but I think it's kind of cute just how it is. So that's what I got and the giveaway and now for the giveaway hi everybody it is October 22nd and time to draw the winner for the fun little fall giveaway thank you everyone who commented and thank you guys for just watching my videos so I have copied and pasted the URL into the YouTube random comment picker and there are 17 unique comments let's see Who's gonna win? You guys have a pretty good chance, you know? One in 17. Here we go. Tina Raymer. Reimer. I hope I said your name right. Tina, congratulations. I am so happy for you. You have won the stitch markers. And you know what, you guys? I'm gonna pick another winner too. Let's have let's have two winners. So let me see here. I'm to come down here no I don't want premium wait maybe I have to go up here you guys oh here we go pick another winner so Tina you won you get those gummy bear stitch markers and postcards and a sticker I only have one sticker so Tina you get the, the sticker you're the big winner but let's see I'm gonna send some, you know I have some other stitch markers that I've made let's pick another winner here we go Lee's Creates. Did I say your name right? I hope I said your name right. Congratulations. You are winner number two. Winner number two. You know what, you guys? I have three daughters. I'm going to go three winners. So who wants some more stitch markers and fun little things? Okay, this will be the last one. Okay, you guys, this is a I promise. So we have got two winners so far. This is the last winner. Pick another winner. And I just love doing this. Robin, Robin, I think I said your name right too. <laughs> Congratulations, Robin. I will be sending you some stitch markers and who knows what else. So I have got three winners. That is awesome. So if I said your name right or wrong, <laughs> please email me. My email is always in the description box down below. Or if you're part of the Strawberry Bunny Facebook group, you can message me on there or on Instagram. You can uh, shoot me a message, message there. Just get in contact with me uh, within the next week or so, so I can get your goodies sent out to you. Congratulations, everybody. We'll be seeing you tomorrow, probably with more of those cats. <laughs> Bye, everybody.